Well, definitely a gloomy day, yeah. but a lot calmer than what we had yesterday. Uh, it's a trade I think I'll take yeah. here. Yeah. I think nobody will be uh, arguing uh, to the contrary here. You know, this has been kind of incredible. Not only was yesterday obviously a very eventful day, uh, this is the third or fourth episode of severe weather we've already had here, and we're only about a third of the way into 2024. And I think you'll find this interesting here that so far, uh, overall, it's been a very active start to the severe weather season across the entire state of Illinois. Here's a look at the top five states when it comes to total severe weather reports. That's wind, hail, and tornadoes. And Illinois finds itself at a very respectable number three with 208 severe weather reports combined. Texas Texas number one, Missouri number two, Florida and North Carolina round out the top five. When it comes to tornadoes, we also find ourselves into the top five at number three with having been 30 tornadoes reported in the state of Illinois. Only Ohio and Florida have seen more. It has also been a prolific hail season so far. Not shockingly, we're in the top three, only behind Texas and Missouri. So if you think it's been a rather active start to the season, you're not wrong. In fact, you are 100% correct. Live pictures right now. No hail, no severe weather whatsoever on our Eldridge Roofing River cam. Skies mostly cloudy. Now, right around the midnight hour, very shortly thereafter, we were in the mid-60s. but We now find ourselves in the mid-50s. These are actually close to, if not right, at our lows for the day. We're at 54 to 57 degrees with the wind howling out of the northwest here at 15 to 25 miles per hour. We have had a gust as high as 40 miles per hour earlier on today. This is Max Storm Tracker presented by Rock River Kia. The clouds remain locked in here, although there is a discernible clearing line that is showing up in the eastern portions of Iowa, and that clearing is to make its way into our neck of the woods in relatively short order. Meanwhile, this was our severe weather yesterday. It's now wreaking havoc across eastern portions of the state of Ohio. Now, even though we're quiet, we are going to be in first alert mode for at least the next several days. We first will contend with rain tomorrow, and it could be heavy at times. From there, gusty winds become the main story on Friday and Saturday. And unfortunately, these will be cold winds that could promote a frost or even a freeze on multiple occasions, perhaps as early as Friday night. In the short term, it's a clearing sky that's expected. This is about as quiet as uh, we'll see our weather here for the next couple of days. The clearing is very temporary as we welcome clouds back in early tomorrow morning. And while tomorrow is not going to be an all day washout, there will be occasional showers from time to time, maybe a thunderstorm, but there's no severe weather risk, so at least we have that going for us. Rain shuts off very quickly tomorrow evening, clearing then tomorrow night. We'll have a ton of sunshine around here for Friday and Saturday. Just a few scattered clouds here Friday evening, and then a sun splash day on tap for us on Saturday with just a few more fair weather clouds uh, developing in the afternoon. Seven day forecast first after uh, seven day forecast after a, gl a glimpse at our Thursday, a cooler day. It'll be the first of four straight days not to get out of the 50s. 57 will be our high temperature, then 57 on Friday. Frost possible overnight Friday night, overnight Saturday night, overnight Sunday night as temperatures head down into the lower and middle 30s. Things do mo moderate back closer to normal as we get into the early stages of next week. Wow. All right. We still got something to look forward to. Yeah. Something. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Mark. Later in